Jeffrey. It's a Tuesday! It is June 28th, 2011, and I'm hanging out here in Frankfort, Kentucky. Just got done hanging out with some excellent people. D. Riley, Jerry Moody, Ralph Long, and my new friend, Chris Alfred. Very excellent dude. Look forward to working with you, sir. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd just walk around, check out this town, because I never had before, and this is the capital of Kentucky. Capital is down yonder. It's not Louisville, um, even though a lot of people think so. But so far, what I've seen is they have this long little path here that leads up to this building, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this area really is. Like a nice little park. Good place to throw some frisbee, looks like. But what I'm interested in doing is trying to make it up to this little rock peak up here. I'm going to enter the forest through here, travel up through there, and hang out on top of that little rock area there, and look at Frankfurt. So I found out that giant building, or this giant building right here, is the state building. Just in case y'all were still wondering by chance. I was, so I asked this lady walking, and that's what she said. Quick problem. Uh, looking for a port of entry for this little challenge here, and that has become quite a task. There's people all around, and I'm pretty sure what I'm about to do here is illegal in some shape or form. But uh, I'm not sure. And so I'm thinking this little area here is a good way to get into there, but um, it's a little steep, if you can tell. And I'm afraid that I got myself a little challenge here that's going to be difficult to complete. But I'm not one to back down from challenges, especially ones that I make for myself. i got a couple hours to make this happen. I'm going to make it happen. Or die trying. Or at least get a snake bite, poison ivy. Breaking news, I just found this little stairwell here that leads up the mountain. I'm not sure if it's going to be any aid to getting over that direction. But uh, things are looking good. That's a beautiful fire right there. I've never seen anything really like it. That's awesome. Looks like this is a trail to the Civil War Earthworks. I have no idea what that means but looks like it is a path to the top of this mountain and uh perhaps i'll get a little education while i'm here all about that history all about it definitely glad i looked around for a little bit and located this trail one of the things that i'm obsessed with we all got our own little obsessions i love shoes i feel like there's always a search for the perfect shoe. And I feel like I found that perfect shoe. Currently wearing them right now. They're a very beautiful Nike. I take care of my shoes. I mean, that's my wheels right there. Most of the time, I prefer walking. I really just hate getting my shoes dirty. I tend to clean them about once every couple of days or as needed. I watch how I walk in the grass, because you, know, you definitely gotta watch out for them grass stains. Getting a little bit nervous at the current time for my shoes, because this trail that one time was a nicely paved staircase has quickly become a muddy trail. But I'm walking on. The other day I stepped in a big pile of dog crap. That definitely was not fun to clean off. Pretty neat right there little stone wall. I've been walking for a while. Totally regret wearing my backpack at this current time and morale is slipping quickly. This is becoming less awesome by the minute and currently by every step. I gotta choose whether to keep up the walking on this trail or head that direction which is the correct direction to go. Decisions, decisions. Come up to a clearing. What we have here is a reconstruction of a fortification that was made during the Civil War. I totally would live in here. Back in the day, apparently, this just was a house. Got everything you need. And 
nice table. So I got a feeling back in the day, they didn't spend much time indoors. When I come to places like this, I always try to envision what it would be like to live in that time. I wonder what they talked about. Like what was the main topic of conversation back in the day? Just passed this house and a gentleman asked me if I would like to take a tour of it. I told him I'd catch out on the next round because that is not my mission. In fact, if that dude knew what my mission really was, I probably would stop it right there. Kept it a secret. This is covert operation. Mission 2974. Making it happen. I'm making it happen. And I officially have no idea where I'm at currently. I just know my car is in two hour parking. And I'm trying not to get a ticket. I'm having to stare down with the deer. Hey, baby deer. I just had a real cool moment with the deer. I had a little stare off. And then it jolted into the woods. I'm going to take that as a Native American sign and follow the deer. I'm taking the road less traveled. This may be a terrible idea. I have a small feeling that it is. But it's time to go in survivor man mode. I was able to locate this structure over there, which makes me feel like the rock cliff is somewhere over there. So game plan is to get back on the main road and hopefully it'll take me closer to that direction. Then I'll jump down to the woods and make it to my destination. On the road again. So I've been walking for about half an hour now. End up walking down a road which led to a bunch of houses and then I've just been walking through random neighborhoods. But I came across this building here and realized mountains right there. I'm currently trying to formulate a plan on how to get up there without being caught. Not that I'm trying to rebel. I'm not seeing any no trespassing sign. So it's giving me the okay. So I believe I have located point of entry again. Uh, here we go. Now attempting to climb this mountain. Not easy. I'm totally getting my shoes dirty right now. I'm definitely being Rambo right now. This is not going to be easy. This backpack is not made for hiking. Not sure why someone's clothes are just hanging out up here. But apparently I've discovered a place to chill in Frankfurt. Got that much more to go. Challenge, this is a challenge. In times like these, one has to ask itself, is the sturdy shoes worth it? I've been on this hike for about two hours now. And I'm pretty much I'm at the same level as this tall building over here. Problem is, I'm gonna have to fail my goal of making it to the very top. Because one, I cannot keep the sweat out of my eyes. So, I would finish this goal. I would complete it and hike to the very top. But my parking time expired about 10 minutes ago. And I'm not trying to get a $15 ticket. So this will have to be a two be continue. Whew, I'm out of breath, but I just want to say that this is a very steep hill. And what a challenge even to make it back down. So let's hope I don't have a ticket. That's really all I'm concerned about right now because that would be 15 double cheeseburgers. Or excuse me, the McDouble, which is the double cheese, less quality, minus one piece of cheese. I made it down the hill, but I suffered some 
grass stain damage here. Um, yeah, it's gonna take some scrubbing to get things shit clean again. I failed that mission. Let's just hope I don't got a ticket. To further review, I no longer believe this mission to be failed, only to be continued. I will conquer you, Mountain. You will be mine. Moment of truth, moment of truth. There officially is no ticket on my car, which means this was 100% totally a good idea. So I guess it's time to head back to Lexington. <laughs>